The intent of this video is to compare the damage from the two atomic bombs dropped over Japan to the damage incurred during the firebombing campaign. We will also review the number of bombers that, it would, that would need to be deployed to match the level of damage and casualties from the atomic bombing. I believe the results shown will surprise you. This is the first video in the channel's World War II atomic bombing series. The damage sustained during the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki need to be put into perspective. Let's start with the overall bombing efforts of the 20th and 21st Bomber Commands. There were roughly six B-29 bombing phases as shown in this chart. The fire bombing campaign started in earnest on March 9, 1945. The bombing parameters are represented by this row. The atomic bombing missions and parameters are represented by this row. 21st Bomber Command flew 94 firebombing missions targeting Japanese city urban areas. These missions were flown at night at low altitude and the bombs that were dropped were E-46 cluster type where the clusters were filled with 38 M69 incendiary bomblets. The bomblets incendiary medium was napalm. The M69 cluster bomblets would be released at an altitude from around 2,500 feet and scatter, as shown from this declassified page from the headquarters of the 21st Bomber Command document titled, Analysis of the Incendiary Phases of Operations, March 1945. All of the images in this video are declassified. Bomber Command's goal was to burn down Japanese cities. This premise is reinforced by several sources. This page from a declassified Air Force Pacific Fleet document titled Analysis of Air Operations May 1945 discusses the May attacks on Japanese urban areas. 21st Bomber Command firebombed the Japanese urban areas of Tokyo, Yokohama, and Nagoya. These large incendiary raids burned down 25% of these cities' built-up areas. This snippet from a June 4, 1945, 20th Air Force Operations document provides bombing highlights for the month of May 1945. The first line flatly states, progressive erasure of Japan's chief cities continued during May. This chart is from the notes of the April 27, 1945, initial meeting of the Atomic Bomb Targeting Committee. The document indicates that, 20th Air Forces is laying waste to all main Japanese cities. They have bombed the heck out of Tokyo. They have systematically firebombed the following cities with the prime purpose as to not leave one stone lying on top of another. Bomber Command summarized the justification for city urban area firebombing on this page. The firebombing will destroy a large number of the small subcontracting shops manufacturing military parts. These shops are scattered throughout the cities. Incendiary bombs were effective against Japanese cities since they were constructed mostly from wood and other flammable materials. This map, from a November 12, 1945 U.S. Army Air Forces to the Secretary of War document, outlines the damage sustained per each Japanese city. Each Japanese city is listed with its associated percent of urban core destroyed and the listed U.S. equivalent city in relative size. For example, 39.9% of Tokyo is listed as destroyed. New York would be considered its U.S. equivalent. The destruction of Tokyo was so complete that Bomber Command removed it as a high-priority target, as discussed in this June 20, 1945, 20th Air Force's bombing highlights. Also note, Bomber Command had almost reached its goal of the destruction of five key Japanese cities. They will now focus on the smaller industrial cities. 41.8% of Hiroshima was destroyed, and Seattle was its equivalent U.S. city. 35.6% of Nagasaki was destroyed. 96.5% of Tayama was destroyed by the firebombing raids. Tayama is likely the most destroyed city in the history of warfare. Bomber Command studied the damaging effects of conventional high explosive bombs versus incendiary bombs, as discussed on this page from the reference shown earlier. Incendiary bombs were found to be seven times more destructive than high explosive bombs during the two Nagoya raids, 16 times for the Yokohama raid, and 21 times for the two Tokyo raids. Think of incendiary bombs as order of magnitude force multipliers over high explosive bombs, just as atomic bombs are force multipliers over incendiary bombs. Incendiary bombs were found to be 7 to 21 times more damaging than high explosive bombs in the Japanese urban areas studied. These images from a September 1945 
Assistant Chief of the Air Staff Impact Document titled Air Victory Over Japan shows the extent of the city fire damage shaded for the three cities in the study, Tokyo, Nagoya, and Yokohama. So how does the damage induced from the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki compare to the overall damage by the fire bombing? This chart from an October 1945 Office of Statistical Control document titled Summary of 20th Air Force Operations from June 5, 1944 through August 14, 1945 rolls up the Japanese city damage at war end. A total of 64 Japanese cities were bombed with either incendiary only or a combination of incendiary and high explosives. 163.46 square miles of Japan's urban core was destroyed, mostly by the incendiary bombs. This represents 42% of Japan's 64 cities' built-up areas. The atomic bombs destroyed 5.55 square miles, or 55% of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The firebombing campaign was 29 times more destructive than the atomic bombs combined. They're not even in the same ballpark. The report goes on to state that each bomber dropping incendiaries destroyed 0.01 square miles per mission, where each atomic bomb destroyed 2.78 square miles. So this implies it would take roughly 278 B-29s to match the damage of a single atomic bomb. Let's explore this further. This chart from an April 1946 report titled Defense Against Enemy Action Directed Against Civilians compares the damage of conventional bombing to atomic bombing. The atomic bomb effects were similar to high explosive bombs except for a single deployed bomb and the radiation. These maps from a 1946 United States Strategic Bombing Survey report titled The Effects of the Atomic Bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki show the before and after bombing maps of both Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This page compares the damage and casualties from the atomic bombs versus conventional weapon raids. The first row represents Hiroshima, Nagasaki, the March 9th Tokyo firebomb raid, average of all firebomb missions. The first column represents various parameter measurements for comparison. Couple data points stick out. 15.8 square miles of Tokyo was destroyed during the March 9th firebomb raid, where 4.7 and 1.8 square miles of Hiroshima and Nagasaki were destroyed respectively during the atomic bombing missions. The number of deaths were greater during the March 9th Tokyo firebombing mission than either of the atomic bombing missions. However, the mortality rate per mile destroyed of the atomic bombing mission was three to four times the mortality rate of the Tokyo mission. This table does not include the downstream Japanese rate radiation deaths. This section of the report defines the number and loadout of B-29 bombers to match both the damage and casualties sustained by the atomic bombing missions. It is assumed that conventional bombing missions were carried out under equivalent conditions as the atomic bombing missions. It will take 1,600 tons of bombs to produce the same structural damage as experienced in the Hiroshima atomic bombing mission and 900 tons for Nagasaki. To match both damage and casualties, an additional 500 tons of fragmentation bombs will be added to the Hiroshima mission and 300 tons to the Nagasaki mission. The distribution of bomb weight and type is shown in these charts representing Hiroshima and Nagasaki for clarity. Note that each B-29 can carry up to 20,000 pounds or 10 tons of bombs. Therefore, to match the bomb damage and casualties of the atomic bombing missions, Bomber Command will need to dispatch 210 B-29s to Hiroshima and 120 B-29s to Nagasaki. So would a combined strike rate of 330 B-29 bombers dispatched to Hiroshima and Nagasaki be an issue in August of 1945? Not really, as just five days earlier, Bomber Command dispatched 850 B-29 bombers to strike in a single night, as discussed in this August 11, 1945, 20th Air Force's Air Intelligence Report. Seven targets were struck. This was the largest dispatch of B-29s in World War II. Only one B-29 was lost due to unknown reasons. 
This chart outlines the disposition of B-29 bombers. There were 974 B-29 bombers available for dispatch at the end of hostilities, so Bomber Command could have easily inflicted the atomic bomb equivalent damage and casualties on Hiroshima and Nagasaki's with the bombers at hand, actually more than twice over. 330 bombers were needed, with 974 available. In summary, the firebombing campaign was 29 times more destructive than the atomic bombs combined. It would take 330 B-29 bombers with a conventional loadout mix of incendiaries, high explosives, and fragmentation bombs to match the damage and casualties from both atomic bombing missions. Did the data shown surprise you? Was it unexpected? If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing to the channel World War II U.S. Bombers.